Hey there, AP Physics C students. Uh, this is your Unit 8 exam review. I'm just kind of kind of give you a, a problem breakdown, and this is going to be uh, very quick. So uh, there's going to be six problems. And let me just uh, go through the topics that you'll need for each problem. Um, problem one uh, deals with a, we have a uniform electric field. So review those. Um, and we have a charge moving through that field. Uh, so we're going to ba basically move a charge from one place to another in that field. And we want to know uh, things like uh, uh, change in potential and change in potential energy. So make sure that you know the difference. You know, what is the difference between electric potential and electric potential energy? Energy is measured in joules. Potential is measured in volts, you know, and so on. So um, review these concepts. I'm not going to make an equation list for you, but I'm just going to tell you that we're going to have a, a uniform electric field. We've got a certain charge. We're moving that charge from point A to point B. Um, there will be a change in potential. Uh, there will be a change in potential. Oh, change in that's the same thing. Potential energy. Uh, I guess lowercase anyway. Uh, between so make sure you know the difference between potential and potential energy. Okay, that was kind of awkward. Anyway, number two. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, and this is just the, um, it involves uh, a voltage. Remember, voltage or electric potential are the same thing. And point charges. So I'm going to give you two or more point charges, and you may have to figure out if, you, if you're given the voltage, what is the charge? If you're given the charges, what's the voltage or their positions and so on. So make sure you review the voltage uh, for uh, created by or whatever um, for point charges. Pretty simple problem. Um, ooh. And ooh, OK, so uh, problem three. I'm going to give you some kind of um, I'm going to give you some kind of charge density, or uh, which is a sigma, which is basically charge per unit area. And um, I'll give you a hint that area is either going to be a the outside of a cylinder, kind of like we did with Gauss's law, or a sphere. And uh, so sigma is the charge per unit area on these things. And they'll, they'll be um, on a conductor. And I may ask you, what is the voltage out here? Or what is the voltage out here? What happens to the voltage as I get closer? What is the voltage inside? What if these were conductors? And I wanted to know what is the voltage on the inside. So be able to be given a charge density. These these will be conductors. The, the charge will all be on the outside. So uh, what happens to the voltage as I go from out here to the surface to the inside of that? So uh, a little off screen there. So that's problem number three. So I give you a charge distribution, a charge density, coulombs per square meter, folks. Okay. Uh, problem number four. Oh, I'm going to give you a parallel plate capacitor. Okay. Now, if there's a dielectric uh, in there, I'll give you the dielectric constant, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, you know, make sure you know... It's the area of the plates, you know, come, 
you should you need to know the um, equation for the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor so look that up um, it may or may not have a dielectric material between the plates right that would just be a kappa and I'd, I'd give that to you it just multiplies um, the capacitance and then um, uh, oh and uh, I may ask you something about uh, the energy stored U sub C the energy stored in a capacitor so look so parallel plate capacitor it may or may not have a dielectric and I will ask you something about the energy stored in it uh, make sure obviously you know the capacitor equation and all that sort of thing so um, relationship between charge voltage and uh, capacitance and problem number five. Oh, I'm going to give you a uh, set of capacitors and this is going to be um, multiple capacitors and some of them are going to be in parallel some are going to be in series you're going to need to know how to calculate the equivalent or the uh, yeah the equivalent capacitance um, and then um, and then kind of use voltage man this is probably the little bit um, a little bit probably one of the harder uh, problems on it so where I, I get, I'm going to give you a capacitor, a set, a, a set of capacitors, and you're going to have to figure out, you know, what the voltage is across them and how much energy is stored and that sort of thing. Uh, it's not too bad. There'll be two in series, two in parallel. Uh, so, it, it, you know, but so make sure you uh, understand multiple capacitors, uh, some in series, some in parallel. Uh, equivalent and then energy stored and how to figure out what the voltage is on each capacitor and how much energy is stored in each capacitor so study that and then finally number six uh, oh, number six is again is uh, a capacitor a single capacitor but uh, it involves um, uh, voltage and, and uh, energy stored and charge. So it's really, I, don't, I think it's kind of similar to somewhat similar to some of the previous problems, but I'm going to give you a capacitor, voltage, energy stored on it, charge stored on it, so make sure you understand the relationship between you know voltage energy and charge um, on a and capacitance so that's it yeah, there's a couple problems that are a little tricky but um, this is a test where you know it's an older test it's, it's a test where I've had you know some students get uh, you know some pretty decent scores on so anyway uh, I hope this was helpful and can guide your studying tonight um, so I will leave it there. That is all.